I mean, I, I think the storm. I was tossing up like, do you go the park for like the game counter, or do you go the Queen of Pain for like the lane counter? Yep. And obviously, they felt like they were just lacking a little bit of that extra control. Is Sweden strong? Yeah, he has a horse, but he's not really all that fast. And Yuma, he's gonna have that attack range to uh, finish him off his own me. Yeah, for sure. And the Slark is topping the network chart. I mean, he was the one to get the first blood. He got a couple of kills there as well, so it's uh, it's quite normal. Kick on the Sven. You're not gonna get him that far. He goes for the roll. GH is looking very much dead. Yep, the second that Milan clenches his fist, it's gonna be over. And now, Gaben on the side of Nigma Galaxy. That Centaur only stunned Milan, didn't go for mind control, and he's gonna be able to run him down just because of it. even the Hawk is in trouble right now. I feel like Nigma Galaxy are honestly kind of okay with that you know with the uh, yep. gh going down first getting a lot of that solo xp for over for the dark seer and suddenly he's recovered his lane somewhat and he's almost reached up to that level five and had a benefit as well just being able to refill the bottle on mikey who was having a bit of a rough time there's the double call they need nice the dodge. kick to break it not gonna be happening actually they turn around onto the uh shadow demon they saw that the storm wasn't gonna die learn off uses all of his mana to go for croaky won't be able to finish him off but mikey died that is the huge one and mana was refreshed on to learn off him GH. having that gas station is definitely gonna help gh has the role will get himself to the high ground as the tower continues to attack him but he will live in the end level up much happier with the exchange there's really not that much of a lead for either side do you do you favor anybody's laning phase do you think anybody's happier mm. i think i would oh, sorry corrosion yeah, he has found Sweden strong. He does get the blinding light off, and Lornoff will be going on to Kuroki. Said he's gonna be public enemy number one, and he does look that way, but he's living. Nope, the Shadow Poison does get to him. In the end, both him and Sweden strong will be going down, and Sweden strong survives a little bit longer, but in the end, will die just the same. Uh, the big thing that I'm really looking forward to kind of make my decision up for me, we've seen inside of the, uh, the Radiant Main Jungle as a kill attempt. Uh -huh. This is what I was talking about. Yep. And pretty easy as well. They thought the storm didn't have that much mana now, so he showed himself in the lane. And there's the uh, there's the outcome of it. The hawk is showing in the lane. He is uh, he does have 2.3k HP, and he's got an LC standing behind him with that press the attack as well. Even uses the Mask of Madness right next to the tower. You should assume with Nygma that he is close. There will be a roll, a roll and uh, no kick, but they have the glimpse bringing him back. The Hawk is standing his ground waiting for the Presley attack to come through. They miss on the wall and the vacuum as well. As now the duel will be onto the Slark. The Static Storm will be nice there static. immediately. Jump in from the Storm into the Static Storm. No, you don't want to be doing that. Beautiful disruption as well. And the Storm has been caught in a coil. That's a little bit too deep. He does get out. Four staff and then just did something all after out? the coil. MC is in a lot of trouble. The Slark gets himself away. GH did lose his life. Yuma spotted there for a second. He's not going to be healing for a second or a two. And now the glimpse onto the Hawk. He doesn't have the call strength any longer. He's not that strong, but he does have the work right. There's on Yuma. You want to fight me? Think again. It is going to be a one for two. The carries have died. Milan has to run away. There will be a glimpse fairly soon as Mikey's coming forward, removing there the Witchblade damage. Actually, it will be applied right now. MC running onto Milan, and he will be dying in the end. Ah, so me goes in again with the blink and the overwhelming Woo! odds. Everybody was waiting for the cavalry to return. And speaking of cavalry, Sweden Strong using his camel to get on top of Mikey, who's very low. There's going to be one more hit from Lorenov, unable to dodge it. And it is going to be a beautiful fight for level up where they lose two, but they claim all five from Nygma. But having this first big team fight won, it's going to be a big boost. But they're not wanting to let up. They've got one and a half minutes left of this night time. Maybe just looking to put down some vision alongside this movement. They would love to be able to get a freebie. LC is a great hero to kill, but the disruption was already ready. Oh, great. Now, there's going to be a nice heal, though. The Hawk has a BKB just standing his ground inside of a static storm, but they will be losing Milan. The Hawk thinking about fighting. There will be a jump in from Lorenoff, and Yuma will be getting out for now. He's going to try to heal a little bit there on the side, jumping in onto the storm again, but the Zips will keep him safe. Lorenoff next to the tier 2, going for MC. They had the glimmer the cape to alert. save himself as the Hawk. He's all alone. There's there's nobody to help him. The Presley attack heals. There's not going to be enough, and he's going to be kicked in the backside and killed. Kuroki will die, but you've only killed the captain. Everything else went in favor of Nygma. And then you can fountain dive. I like it. Yep, yep. The, the fountain never regenerates. And it's game over, literally. <laughs> like, what are you supposed to do? Um... Okay. Oh, they got a very brief place there off the Shadow Demon. Oh, he didn't silence the Slark. And actually, they're gonna get the duel off. He didn't want to ulti immediately. He had the opportunity there and decided not to do it because of it. Yuma will die. 
for a Sven. You get that extra hit, it's gonna be insane how just how much damage it can bring to the table. And he finally does have a crit, so this Sven, he he packs punch. Let's see. Now he's gonna be in trouble. The demonic prayer to duel, everything has been used. Level up, no hesitation. That's a static storm used. I don't know if you can win this fight. Actually, Yuma, if he wants to try, they're gonna be turning around with the Kuroki now. It's a five versus three. They use the disruption to Yuma. Now he has to run. And everybody else from Nigma, they might be mobile, but they can the use that mobility for aggressive attempt. Yuma, he goes for the death shot. He's gonna be stunned right inside of it. He's gonna have a pounce in a second or two, but he has no one to defend him. He's gonna be silenced. No, no, uh, Dark pack for you. He will be living through the silence, but won't be living through the extra attack that comes out from the hawk. And that's the thing, right? They they know that the Slark is the only save, and they saw him committing onto that bottom tier two tower. She'll make sure that the Slark is scaling off the back of that essence shift. As they see my control, do they see Slark though? They don't quite yet. Ah, they're still gonna go for it. Uh, they're still gonna go for it. I understand it because he's going for the uh, twin the gates. Version. There's no way that there's there's multiple people and he wants to go through it. Of any sort of like Roche attempt, any sort of close quarters area, Darkseer is always going to give you an insane amount of value, but uh, the Aegis is going to give Lauren off even more of that value. For some reason, I was looking at the left-hand side of the portraits there on the uh, the buyback status menu, but it's the right side. Uh, not having buybacks definitely favors Nigma for a fight on Look the bottom lane, step. but here... See. Oh, he reveals under the watcher. Jumping from Mikey he makes his presence known, so now level up, they're aware. Full retreat. The link is broken, there will be a will o wisp going for the Dark Siege. That's a double duel if you can get it, but there will be a Death Shot immediately saving them as Kuroki gets taken down. Raghunev Scepter gonna be doing absolutely nothing. The block. gonna be using the greater healing Lotus, but it's not gonna be enough. Actually, he gets it all away. He will be successful at escaping in the end, but finally the Hawk does run him down. He's just a little bit too fast. Lincoln's on Yuma broken. He's gonna be hexed up a little bit too early as the Dark Pact does remove it. Lauren off. He's lost mana. He will be using the, the damage. They turn around onto Yuma. He's standing his ground. He's fighting, but how much can you do? There's the Klee from the Sven that you were talking about, the MC. Standing his ground, the Ascetic's cap definitely helping, but just as everybody else did, he has to run away from the Sven. No more Ghost Strength. That's something that level up are going to be lacking when it comes to damage. And MC turning around, he wants to fight this guy. Besides, nope, even without the strength of the gods, he is pretty powerful as a human as well. Just looking to try and chase him down. He keeps getting his blink dagger disrupted though. Oh, perfect timing of the storm hammer. Storm is back as well. He went to the base and got recalled. Moronov has full mana. There will be a will of wisp. Nobody to deal with it. There will be a stun return onto the Sven. The Hawk Kuro. stuns himself as well. He's starting Kuro coming over. The Hawk doesn't have the BKB inside of the can oh, I start it? No, oh, he missed it. He missed it. The Sven is way too fast. He dodges Kuroki, even though he was right in front of him. The Hawk is gonna be getting the strength of the gods back in he's six seconds. Excited. But he's gonna be killed before that happens. Without your carry, without your damage you are nothing enigma galaxy now they smell fear they smell blood and they're gonna be shedding a lot of it from level up glimpse bringing sweet and strong back they are gonna be losing four heroes in the end despite this fight looking good for them from the start this is where the level up should have gone back without the god strength they just cannot kill people i mean honestly like a lot of things worked out pretty well for them right yep you're running into enemy vision, into a Slark on a high ground, so they decide it might not be worth it to just go onto the enemies and just ward and go to the other oh, side. So to be able to claim the Invis rune. He wants to be able to find that backline, so look at Kuro. He could be the one that gets run into here. He will jump onto MC, he does have the Ascari step. Oh, oh he does bang. open up the Sven, the Hawk. He was ready, now going for the Harpoon ret ret returns, but MC doesn't want to be hunting this one. There will be bashes, there will be an Abyssal Blade. He needs help, the four staffs. They kicked him back. He's not going to be able to get out, and the Priestly attack got used before the call. But Sven, he got some of his HP back. Now with the Satanic, will be coming back to pull Yuma. He wants to fight, taking even more of his stacks. Has the Death Shot thing inside of it, and going for the Sven, the Disruption. He will keep him safe for now, but he's still next to a wall, very slowed down. There will be mana brought back. Back to him, jumping in onto the sword screen. Down the storm. Well, Lauren off will be fine. That time's not gonna be long enough. He's going for a TP out. You've dueled the Slark that just had so many stacks. He's gonna kill you all. Run away, Yuma. He's way too strong. The bash is coming in now. It is just gonna be a slaughter for everybody. Bring them all together for the Slark to rip them apart. The sword screen comes back. He's back to the base. You make it away. Full, but he now has all of his mana taken away. He came from the base. There will be a press the attack. Some attack speed for the storm, but not nearly enough to allow you to fight through. Mikey gets a triple kill, Yuma gets a billion stacks, and Nigma get an easy fight win. Probably two racks off the back of this, and he 
can't get to buy back on at least the Storm Spirit. Slark is losing stacks though, so he's not gonna be as powerful as he was. 30 is still a pretty decent number, and somewhere in that fight he got level 25 and got the other talents. I think they made a decision, or have they? They go for a smoke, the glyph has been used, they wanna fight. I suppose, but... He's just been playing a phenomenal game on his puck so far. Link is broken, duel onto the Slark. The Sven does come back and they're the all in. Back. The Slark doesn't oh, he's in the stand static. his ground. The disruption saving old me from his own duel. You decided to fight the wrong guy. This guy a little bit too strong at the moment. Villain running away with a glimmer cape as the Sven goes in. There will be a depth shot. Everybody comes in. There's nothing for him to cleave down. Turn ground onto MC. He just can't do that much damage. And now the Hawk is left alone. He at least wants to kill the enemy captain and he won't be allowed to do even that level up they were doing well in this game but Ligma just way too hard to defeat this team for even one game I mean, that was such a great performance in the mid game from Ligma Galaxy obviously a couple of the fights laning stage didn't necessarily go in their favor but they're just so experienced at the macro play right I I prefer Ligma Galaxy's lineup it's so easy to make it work yeah it looks fine uh, also gh took a lot of damage on the uh on the top lane barely survived as well had the sticks so that's why he uh, he got himself out of there so you can see that both of the safe lanes here they are applying pressure only goes on to yuma and yuma will die in the end sweden strong finishes him off level up we're done with being bullied in this lane and i i don't know if anybody is like thinking about it all the time as the hawk is going for mind control who's hiding in the trees he's looking very much dead here dano it's just a matter of time but he's making it work for it there will be a soul assumption that gets the kill the hawk though is gonna be in trouble with the blood grenade a couple of more kills will do the trick is the blood grenade gonna be enough no the tango the hawk gets himself away and gh he can't do enough damage to milan actually he's getting a couple of hits in 10 stick charges though and uh, the hawk Maybe there's yes. gonna be a roll. He's gonna attempt it. He gets it. He just needs one more. This is the GA shirt spirit. This is the guy that after he started practicing this hero much after he won TI and is still so damn good on it. This is a, I mean, last game I had to ask you which team did better at the start. Now it's definitely Nygma Galaxy as they come over with a Terrorblade. Ravage used, they bring down the Hawk. GH, of course, the one to get the kill because the biggest Chad deserves the kill always. Okay, that's I a mean, no. Maybe just with the, maybe just with that previous uh, <laughs> attempt with the Dream Coil, right? He hits a three-man Dream Coil and then he's like, oh, no one's really in a position to be able to make any sort of kills happen. Maybe on this top side, though. Yep. No. Right. They bring him down, despite him having the uh, the Midas. Ultra late game puck with the uh, rapid fire. Huh? Is that the uh, is that the path to victory? It would be cool to see him with like a, a Maelstrom in this game, especially because there's nobody else to really connect with the Wisp. His own me again uses oh, his Stampede to run away. JH doesn't have level four in the in the role, so you can TP out, but it's only if they don't do enough damage and instant smoke. They just want to continue with the aggression. I mean, I guess Coddle does drop off eventually. I mean, we mentioned the the potential for BKBs to have a big impact as Odmi. I mean, he's trying to play that. And ooh, so he just revealed himself briefly, actually. Somehow. Uh, oh. That's gonna be a blast coming in. Ravage was used defensively. Mind control won't be getting anything out of it. He's so hard to kill. They need the soul assumption. The right clicks. Sure. The right clicks aren't killing him. They're gonna have to use the coil as well. Having the uh, did he have the arcane rune when he used it? Nope. So it is gonna be uh, a full on cool. If you commit on that, then Grave Chill Duration would make a lot of sense because of the added attack speed, so he might go yep. that route as well as he sees Yuma. See that is a hard hero to kill and uh, he's under a sentry. They uh, were protecting that spot. The ult will be coming out. The A-Blast does nice not heals. connect. He's still in trouble on top of a hill there. Atos finally done and GH comes at the top there. He's gonna be king of the hill now. Immediately uh, leaves that throne and Mikey, he was the one to bring down the Hawk, so... I mean, that's the sort of thing that you have to, like, attempt, right? Like, you, you have to go for these ballsy sort of plays. You Sure, you look a bit silly if it doesn't work out, but it'll be okay. Dust ends up revealing Milan, and he will not be okay. The Midas, once again, is 
not going to get the full value as I mean, this has just been all Nygma Galaxy. So Draft of Nygma Galaxy is superior. Their draft looks great on paper, but when we look at uh, level up's draft, it literally does nothing versus the Tide Hunter. So that last pick also run it up quite nicely as the Hawk will be uh, blinded there for a second. They will be stunning his birds. Saving Mikey for the time being, but Mikey has been found the Hawk as well. The A Blast will connect, and that is gonna be one dead bird taking him out of the sky. It's gonna be possible immediately as Kuroki might be in trouble right now. He brought down the main bird, but there's still two little ones, and the dragon, one, a fairy one, will be hunting him down. Kuroki gets taken down. Finally, the Ravage will be used as own meat. Gets a hoof stop onto the three of them. It's a one. great fight as well. Coming in with the deck, he's a three man blast off. Finally, Yuma, he will be getting that thunder off the stampede to reset the fight. Yuma is all alone. He has the BKB TP out if he wants to use it. That's why they're looking towards MC. It's gonna take a, a long mana? time to cut this watermelon open, but you know what it's inside is just goodness for all of you. You want that money. You wanted that Lorenov coming in with a, kit, with a hit, but he just looks at these two guys and thinks, they're unkillable. We can't do anything to them. Yeah, you know gonna be able to bring him down and level up will just forfeit the Roche. There is a Dekis in the vicinity, they know. They know that Milan is here. Gonna be using the Dust, they have the Yule Scepter as well. Lotus Orb still not done on Milan, even if it was not really something that changes the outcome of this catch. And they get themselves a kill, they get themselves a Roche. Yeah, it's not. It's really not. Enigma Galaxy, they're just kicking in the uh, the boulders here. Is there is there a light at the end of the tunnel here, Danog? Is there something that can change the outcome of the game? I'm really just looking at Lorenoff, honestly, just to be able to be that right-click carry, which is not what you expect to be able to come out from a puck. I think they got a very brief glimpse of the Hawk there, moving into the tree line. Three seconds until he has a PP. He's gone. Now he's definitely gone. He doesn't have a BKB. Even if he had there, the damage from Nygma Galaxy is more than enough to bring him down. So that's the Hawk, dead for 50. He just bought the shard. No buyback for him. No way to stop this insane amount of damage that is being inflicted onto your base. They've just entered your home and you're staying there, looking down, not being able to face them. Level up there. They have forfeited the Mega Cruz, it seems. So they've got one range racks left on that top side. Jumping this is an all in play. That, see, there was a stun in the back lines. Mikey now he does have a BKB. This is going to be completely fine. The deck is. Oh, nice Midas, my friend. It gave you so much gold that we're going to be grabbing back as the Hawk going in the back lines. They're going to be finding their spirit. He does have the Yule Scepter. We'll be dodging the Wolf Stop. The rest of the team is coming to help. And there's the Ravage. Release the Kraken to seal the deal on game number two. This Centaur will be broken in more ways than one. His life will be taken fairly soon, and it will be the overtime damage of the support that does seal the deal in the end on his life. Sweden Strong trying with a tether to go towards Lorenov. He's not going to be able to connect with his friend, and there Yuma just making sure that his captain stays alive. Just like in the previous game, they're keeping Kuroki alive because that's the only target the level up to nice go stun. for. It is going to be a stun onto the... Uh, Onto the pocket, they turn around, oh, no, they've so killed much. Mikey, Mikey, no, he does buy back, wants to come back, GH using the wands, he's gonna be fine for now, Lorenov on that puck, doing so much in the fight, as you mentioned, but no big targets are dying, the Terrorblade, his Aegis is gonna be expiring, Enigma Galaxy, they want to bail, Kuroki could be a good target, and there it is, the jump, the pipe though, has been refreshed, they're killing the mines, MC doesn't care much about those whatsoever, he's just killing them, Omi will be going for Kuroki, but he's gonna be pushed back there, find the Psychic headband, they don't wanna let him die, he will be using the Ghost Scepter as well. A Blast holding his ground. He doesn't care. Another mech up to Kuroki will live. We got you, buddy. And he's going to be using a well played to congratulate his team on keeping him alive still. Just got a couple of uh, HP left on it. And they don't even got to worry about it. Just let the illusions and the creeps do the work. That's Mega Creeps. That's 33 minutes in. And that's no buyback on your Centaur. And this should be key. Level up though, they're not forfeiting it just yet. There will be a stone form for, for the Hawk, but as soon as you're left from that one, you will be turned to a billion little stone pieces as now they turn their attention onto the Ancient, which is the main objective of this game. Kill the enemy's base, finish them off, level up, doing everything in their power to keep themselves in this one. But I think right now they are discussing Game number three, and how do we extend this grand final and not lose 3-0? Because that 
what it's looking like to be Enigma Galaxy. Now they won four games in a row versus Level Up, and I don't know if you can come back from that. I'm going for Level Up here, and, and I'm hoping Game 4 will be uh, will be happening after uh, after this Game 3. He's gonna have it in five seconds. We should be landing him the kill. He has just enough range. Bramble Maze, you can't go through it. Night time as well. I mean, he had, of course, the fairy fire and the one charges to be able to bring himself to safety, but not a passive game. I mean, you'd have to say level up, they're probably okay with this. Maybe not so much with that kill uh, of the courier, but certainly with the kill and the first blood onto Kuroki. Yeah, Kuroki does come over, offers himself up. Milan will be the, uh, the second blood here. Absolutely no way for him to escape the uh, ghosts here from Mikey. So they will be getting a kill. And Still that's an exorcism creep. with their siege creep. So it's going to be quite nice. Mind control though, in trouble. He's lost a lot of armor. The centaurs here, are they helping mind control or the Easy. hawk? It's going to be mind control. Death for 26, but still not giving a kill to the hawk. The graveyard camp was blocked and it hasn't been unblocked till now and I don't see extra creeps there in the in the triangle. Milan, he will be finding Kuroki and there will be a rotation from Sweden Strong. They want to kill Kuroki with the minus armor from the Mel. They're gonna be able the to Hawk do just that. The Hawk, but have you gone too far? He does use the sticks there and goes for the refractions, but it's not gonna be enough with so many units attacking him. And now this bird will be going on top of Milan. Here comes Mikey as well. Milan is lost. The question is, will Sweden Strong get himself out? And the answer will be Enigma Galaxy they don't even care about him. I guess that's the other bonus. Is only in trouble here. Two seconds left on the boundless. It's like it's too deep even for Mike, uh, for Yuma, excuse me. Not too deep for the rest of Nigma Galaxy though, to be able to make a kill happen for Sweden Strong. And Mikey is just TP forehead, nice and easy. But there is a DD warning up on the top side. They're playing better Dota. There will be a hurricane on the bottom as Onmi on top everywhere. Nigma Galaxy are the ones that are making plays. Onmi in a lot of trouble. There needs to be just one more slap. He needs to be getting himself away, but he will be dying next to the thing he hates the most. And that is the trees not even being able to cut those down. Not even level 6 yet. Nigma Galaxy again looking really strong in this game. They are indeed. I mean, the big thing was that it was mind control that ended up getting that kill previously. Oh, they see the Hark, they even see that neutral item on the ground. Mike, uh, sorry, Yuma's gonna be able to pick it up, and they might end up getting another kill. Help is coming for the Hawk. There will be a nice stun from Sweden Strong. There's something he does really well. Yuma turning around onto the Hawk, who's not gonna be having refraction charges. He'll be dead. He does use the trap, as finally Lorenov makes his presence known with a DD. This is the time where the Beastmaster cannot escape. Will be taken down. Lorenov gets himself on the board, but everybody else escapes. Enigma Galaxy again, the they force lane. out the rotation. As you mentioned, mid lane, the star will be taken a good chunk of damage around one of these tier one towers just to put a little bit of extra damage into it but it's actually Nigma galaxy making the smoke happen we're gonna try and find any sort of pick off that they can lauren off his priority number one though yeah you would want to kill him first milan nice usage there of the tumbler so he will get silenced up but lift up just before it does connect brambles will be on point gh threatening with the terrorize nobody hiding in the trees and lauren off makes his presence known so that's gonna be enough for Nigma. they understand they won't be getting anything else I don't know if they're happy enough with that, right, though. It's, a, it's an exorcism popped. They're not really doing too much damage into anything. I don't think there's any ancient stacks for them to be able to claim. Maybe they just try and backdoor the tier 1 tower top. I mean, they're happy enough to use the damage to be able to get it. And look at that. They used the Bedlam onto Mikey before he ended up going into that. So they had the extra damage coming through from GH. Nice synergy. You can see Tahaki's having a decent enough game. Minus. And Viper is going to have a lot easier time once he gets into the Aghanim Scepter. Uh, oh. See Boots of Travel coming through onto the Hawk, and we're seeing Twin Gates being used as well. They want him dead. Are going to be in trouble. Yeah, he's very dead. He's not getting out of this one alive. Absolutely no chance in hell that he uh, gets out with his life intact. He does have a Midas on the Hawk, so definitely going to be farming pretty fast. They've almost gotten to a helm of the Overlord as well, so they're just going to keep the pressure going. Yeah, they understand it perfectly. They're keeping that bottom part of the map checked, and they're playing the top part, not allowing the level up to push. It's now, only this time around, he's going to be all alone. Here comes the Boots of Travel. It is not your Viper coming in. It will be Mikey. And again, Bedlam onto one of his scores. It's going to be so much damage. In the end, Mikey claims the kill as Milan just continues farming. Extra control, some damage over time. It provides a little bit of slows and it allows you to farm, right? I think that's really just what you have to be playing for. And I mean, this is the sort of thing that you are hoping to get whenever you're playing a TA. You could say that in that first game of this best of five final, that they were close to winning. But even then, you could see that they were struggling into making their lineup work now in games number two and three they're completely helpless 
it's, it's just about the... Oh, are they going to be able to get a quick kill? They just need anything right Engine? now. No, no need. Nah. Much more... I mean, they're, they're prioritizing Loranov's farm so much right now, and for good reason. Like, he needs to get into this axe. He needs his level 12. He needs to be able to progress in towards that Manta style. And, I mean, it honestly feels like they're playing for a level 25 Viper. And, I mean, it's only 18 minutes in. You've lost the Aegis. You're 5k net worth down. You haven't taken a tier 1 tower, and you've lost all of yours, and you're just losing own me consistently. He's 0-4 and 0 right now. Not the sort of game that you'd be hoping for for a Timbersaw. Looks pretty decent to me, although... I wouldn't put it past him to go just like a, a BKB to be able to just not care about, let's say, three and a half heroes. Of course, Viper Strike is still something that you need to be mindful of. This Thumbler's Juma, still... Juma, speaking of... Yeah, he's been pretty on point with his usage. Yeah, is it enough to save his life? This time around, the finger will be used, but definitely not enough to uh, kill the Monkey King. And even if it was, he still did have the Aegis. In the end, the uh, mm -hmm. Drubik does get taken down with relative ease. Nigma Galaxy, they're not bringing down the cores, but they're keeping this <laughs> nice lead alive. I mean, you're really kind of deep here, Mikey. Is he's he? not the one with the ages. As the BKB doesn't care, he's not taking any damage. He's just sucking the life out of Loranoff. Is this the hero that you want to be strong? He's not going to be doing anything versus the exorcism. As Yuma, not even going to get stunned up there. He does lose one of his lives, but it doesn't matter. You got that Aegis to lose it at some point in two minutes before it does expire. Not the worst thing. But yeah, like if Rubik's able to get into an Aghanim shot of his own, then obviously that provides you that little bit of extra For sure. safety net, I guess. Uh, now he's going into the the Yasha, at least, on the Viper. So right now they're prioritizing just living. For now, they ended up smoking right on him before. Yeah, and, they and they immediately Mikey's going to be jumping in. They want to kill Onmi immediately. He doesn't have a Lotus Orb. Actually, they're going to be turning around on the Swedish deep, Mikey. Mikey. He's deeping away. Not going to be happy. He has been hexed up with the finger. They'll be finishing him off. That Lugos man not in a good spot, but speaking about not good spots, this DA in a catastrophic one, but has the Hurricane Fight. He needs more force than he needs 10 more force than to live. Hiding on the high ground, they will have the vision to bring him down. Now, Onmi, that is the first one that they engaged on. Let's see if they can finish Kuro's him off. Up. On him. He's going to be stunned up. The Brown Blaze connecting on him. Lornoff, actually, that's going to be the Hurricane Fight for Kuroki, but they have the Glimmer Cape beautifully done by Milan, keeping his buddy alive. This Lornoff is continuing to dish out damage from the back, but in the end, it is again gonna be a fight in Nigma Galaxy's favor, though this time around only barely. This level up going forward, Lorenov leading the charge, now it's Nigma Galaxy that are poking Kuroki. Okay, that's more than a poke, it really does hurt. Even just that top lane, pushing in a little bit for Nigma Galaxy, so maybe forcing some sort of a move from level up, but they feel confident. They know that they can go in on the back lines. Yeah, no Wukong for 30 seconds. You want to do it right now. Nether Toxin into the trees yet again. They want to kill the Hawk. It's super annoying. And Mikey, Bob's BKB Mikey. goes in with the Spirit Siphon. There's the BKB from Yuma. Bounder Strike, beautiful. And the fall up there, right? This is going to give them the damage necessary to finish off two heroes. Buyback from the line. He has to fight. And it's going to be the Hawk forced to the low ground. But he's not going to be safe there. You usually aren't safe there in the dips of the... Uh, of the top lane as it will be three heroes down the line buys back but nigma galaxy again come out on top just a ballsy play from mikey putting all of the attention onto himself opening up the fight for yuma to be able to make that dive in onto the back lines and he just instantly wiped out and i would love to be able to get up onto that level 18 as well you can just see how quickly the lanes are able to be pushed out as well with that nose dive it really does provide a lot of that lane shove potential Oh, me now he does have the Lotus Orb. It's not gonna help, though. That's the thing, right? Against the the Brambles with the Shard, you can Lotus it off, but it's still going to spawn them. So you're still gonna be locked in place. The thing is, this is where he needs to be farming. And right now, they're just playing for TA and the uh, and the Viper. You're worth Listen one minute. Manta. You're worth one minute on me as an offlaner. That's that's probably not the space that he wants to be in, but it's the most that they can uh, hope for as the oh, will be caught. He does have the Kiriki Pai going through all of the brambles. They have multiple force three. passes. Three gonna be enough. Is he still no, gonna die? He gets caught. He doesn't have a blink. The Hawk will be caught. Everything was used to save him. And now you're just gonna be losing an extra lion on top of your TA. Probably the tier three and probably any chance chances to go to the land. I mean, Nigma's prospects of going through the land are looking brighter than ever. They've got one last lift refresh back, but you don't have the heart for the next 40 seconds. Also, just got an open bottom lane. You do, and I mean, they're just letting the, uh, the Ancient Black Dragon do the majority of the work for now, and they're even able to get out before 
99% chance for Nigma Galaxy to go to the land finals. They came into this grand finals thinking maybe Level Up has the capability to defeat them, but easy. 3-0 seems to be the case. There's gonna be a ball attack on the four of them, and look at that Terra is behind. Level Up are afraid. They're afraid of GH like they should be. From the shadows, he strikes, and now Kuroki coming in with the impetus, killing Omi, the tankiest hero of Level Up. The rest of them, they're gonna be in a world of hurt. Here comes the impetus the hawk and jump oh, into the monkey king he does have the Aegis, so they're gonna kill him once let's see if they're gonna be able to keep him in place a little bit longer dear spike doesn't connect yuma will be able to get the bkb off and he goes for the ulti meaning a lot more armor for him modern off trying to fight him he's doing his bet the best he can yuma would like to leave but it's gonna be very tough to do so they do have the force that's to get him to low ground so he's gonna be fine shock crumb Whoa. not enough yuma lives to get away and I mean again you forced a buyback. I guess Axe might be better but also double Wukong and or double exorcism is something that you do want to have and it is going to be the double exorcism that they're going to be looking towards. I don't know. I always, whenever I see Enchantress getting impetuses out, I always just imagine sproink, sproink, sproink. So it, it doesn't really matter if he's jumping back or not. Do you see that he's got a Revenant's Broach queued up as well? Yeah. Like yeah, he has the Witch Blade. Has had it for quite some time. That's uh, that's gonna be painful. As uh, owned me, he is not gonna be feeling any pain any longer. N not because he's tanky, but because he's dead. Man, there's a lot of gold being hold held onto by the Hark right now. I understand the importance of keeping that buyback, but I mean, I think you're just going to need the damage to try and make anything happen here. Quick finger of death to try and get a kill onto Kuro, the Ooh. most important person. Oh, Nick the Galaxy, I'm hearing the base get dived as well though. Yep, Mikey, he gets the kill on Milan, he gets the kill on Sweden Strong. This is how you kill supports in a second. You don't take as long as you did level up. But talking about taking long, Nigma Galaxy really took a really short time to end this best of five grand finals. It was supposed to be a five game series. It was supposed to be epic, but Nigma Galaxy just way too good for level up today. They came in from the lower bracket finals level up one against their opponents two came in looking strong in game number one, but they lost it. And then after that, Nigma Galaxy it was them all the way. For sure, I mean, it's a buyback being used. They even try and force stuff. Poor Dahak outside of the fountain. They don't care. They're probably going to die of the fountain at this point. And Milan gives them the congratulations. Instant disconnect coming through from him. This really did feel like one that got away after level up in the first half of this tournament. It really felt like they were the ones that had the momentum going. But 7.34, uh, it really feels like, at least for this tournament, it was Nigma Galaxy's patches. Now we get one last look of Dahak looking a little bit dejected and understandably so.